Hello, I'm Sean Copeland, Chairman and CEO of Regent Bank, and welcome to another edition of Regent Elevate, and we're continuing our series on radical trust, and we're discussing how to create a high trust organization and how it can drastically improve both your profitability, but also your employee engagement and satisfaction. So we're going to go through a series of keys to high trust organizations, the things that make them different than the typical organization where maybe there is a lower level of trust. Today we're going to talk about the fact that high trust organizations give and accept honest feedback. Okay. Now this sounds very simple, but let me tell you what this really looks like within an organization. In, in a high trust organization, if you are doing something that is bothering me, or you're not meeting expectations, or I just noticed something uh, about your performance that I think could improve, I tell you that. I don't beat around the bush, I don't wait for the right time, I don't, I'm not worried about how you're going to react. And then you, as the receiver of the feedback, are very open to it. You are appreciative of it. You don't get defensive. You're not worried about my motives. You're not thinking that I'm trying to hurt you. You know that I'm trying to help you. You accept that feedback uh, very, very readily. The feedback is not uh, positive or negative. It's just real. It's, it's, um, I had, a, I had a, a very good recent example here within our organization. A couple of months ago, we had some uh, challenging times from an earnings perspective. We've had eight year record years in a row, and all of a sudden, we got to the month of August and things really began to struggle. So what do you do as a leader? Are you honest about that, or are you, do you try to sweep it under the rug and pretend that it's not a big deal? I chose to be honest with our team. And so I presented them with what had happened, I presented them with why, and we began as a group to make adjustments uh, to correct the problem. I was so proud with how everybody responded. Um, it was really, really amazing. And in a high trust environment, we are, we are open and honest with each other. We love each other, everyone knows that, but that doesn't mean that we don't give each other honest feedback. So the number one uh, key to being a high trust organization is you have to, at all levels of the organization, be able to give and receive honest feedback. Next time we're going to, to discuss how high trust organizations set honest boundaries. So thank you so much for being here with us and we'll talk to you next week.